All right, first graders. So today's book is going to be a celebration of all of you. This book is called I Knew You Could. And it's a book for all the stops in your life. And this is a book to celebrate all of the amazing things that you have done in first grade, starting all the way from September up until now. You've learned a lot of stuff and you've worked very hard. Let's listen to all the things we knew you could do. I knew you could, and you knew it too, that you'd come out on top after all you've been through. And from here, here you'll go farther and see brand new sights. You'll face brand new heels that rise to new heights. I wish I could show you the stops that you'll visit, but that isn't my choice to make for you, is it? Instead, I can tell you some lessons and tales that I've learned and relearned in my times on the rail. First of all, so, so far, the book is telling you, I knew that you could come over, overcome all of those tricky things that happen in life. There were a lot of tricky things that happened in first grade. You might have had to make new friends. You might have had to try something that seemed a little scary to you. And you did it. Then we transitioned to having to have school online on the computer. That was really new and different. And you did it. Let's keep listening. You must find your own track so you can start right away and not be held back. But which track is yours? Well, that all depends on which way it's going and where it might end. Different tracks wind around, over, under, and through. So pick out the one that works best for you. Though the track you start out on will feel like the one. You might take a few more before you are done. And now, with your eyes on your new destination, start up your wheels and roll out of the station. On your new trip, you'll make plenty of stops in deep river valleys and on high mountain tops. Some will surprise you and some will be planned. And you will roll through each one saying, I think I can. You'll go through tunnels. That's making me think of next year, you're going to be in second grade. And the same kind of things are going to happen. There's going to be new things that you're going to have to try. There might be some new friends to make. There might be some new faces in your community. You're going to have a new teacher. But you can do it. All you have to say to yourself is, believe in yourself. Just like the little engine that could we read at the beginning of the year. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Your teachers, we knew you could. And you can. Let's keep listening. Surrounded by dark, and you wish for a light or even a spark. You might get scared or a little bit sad, wondering if maybe your track has gone bad. So here's some advice to help you ease your doubt. The track you took in must also go out. So steady yourself and just keep on going. Before you know it, some light will be showing. And then you'll be out heading to a new place. You'll be ready for the next tunnel you face. Sometimes you'll look up and see planes in the sky and you'll think to yourself, I wish I could fly. The cars on the roads will seem quick and free. You'll feel stuck on your track and think, I wish that was me. Now the author is talking about being jealous or wishing that you were someone or something that you're not. But remember, you are perfect just the way you are and you are special in your way, not in the way of the other planes or the other ways to get around in your way. But the plane might wish he could get out of the air saying, I wish I could travel like that train down there. Exactly. The cars will watch as you speed right along and they'll say to each other, 
Look how fast and how strong. Don't worry about not being a car or a plane. Just enjoy the trip you'll take as a train. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn. If you need to be heard or there are people to warn, or if being yourself just makes you so proud that you want to share it and sing it out loud. That means don't be afraid to share. Don't be afraid to say something to your friends or your teachers or your family. And don't be afraid to say, I did it and I did a great job. You'll follow your track through twists and through bends and stop at new stops and pick up new friends. They'll all come aboard with smiles and greetings. You'll have such great times with the people you're meeting. On the days when you're sad and feel you can't go, speak up and ask a friend for a tow. That's what friends do, so don't be afraid. You do the same if your friend needed aid. You might stop at some stops that you never have toured and look for new friends, but they won't come aboard. So you'll have to head out with a creak and a groan, setting out once again on a, your track all alone. Try to remember that the world is so wide, full of all kinds of people with their own trains to ride. Just stay true to yourself as you travel your track, with no second guessing and no looking back. Once you're on the right track, you'll probably say, this one is mine and I'm here to stay. Try to enjoy the track that you choose. Stop now and then and take in the views. If you rush forward, as a general rule, before you arrive, you can run out of fuel. Don't overwork, but save up some strength. That way, every day, you can travel great lengths. You'll need all that strength on the days when you're stuck, or tired, or sad, or just out of luck. When your belief in yourself doesn't feel quite so pure, and your I think I can doesn't sound quite so sure. That's when to push and to strive and to strain, to show the world you're not a giving up train. You're not a giving up train. That's just like all of you. Think about a minute where you didn't give up, where you kept going and you tried something even when it was really hard. That's what we're gonna be talking about today is when, what are some things you did that you're proud of yourself for? Maybe it's something you did at school. Maybe it's something you did at home. Maybe you taught yourself a new gymnastics trick or you performed at the talent show even when you were really nervous. Maybe you did something with your family that you didn't think you could do, but you did it because you believed in yourself. Let's keep listening. And you're wise if you know that doing your best means that sometimes you should just slow down and rest. Speeding through your whole trip will bring only sorrow. Slow, slow down today to be happy tomorrow. There's more about life that you'll learn as you go because figuring things out on your own helps you grow. It does. Just trust in yourself and you'll climb every hill. Say, I think I can. And you know what? You will. You will. Wow. Super awesome. So now you're going to make a Flipgrid video and I want you to share something you're proud of about yourself. What's something you did in first grade, either at school or at home, that you're proud of yourself about? I, I know that I have, and Miss Hamilton and Miss Jackie and Miss Wilcox and Mr. Anthony have a million reasons why we're proud of all of you because every single day,
You do things that amaze us. Every single day, you do things that make us proud. What makes you proud of yourself? If you need some ideas, we can talk about them together at morning meeting. Can't wait to see what you're proud of yourself about. And give yourself a big, huge one of these. A big, huge pat on the back because you worked hard and you are awesome. We'll see you tomorrow for one last special book for the last day of first grade. Oh my goodness.